So we are back with another grocery haul. It's been a while, I know. But uh, it's going to be more grocery hauls because I've kind of ran out of what we had in stock. So now we're starting off fresh and making meal plans. And I'm going to do videos on some of the meals that uh, I have planned. Some of the ones that are kind of different. But uh, I went to Walmart. Uh, I didn't pick up as much really grocery wise at Walmart. I did majority of it online it with just essential household items I'm needing. So we did a uh, uh, grocery pickup. We ran inside to get a few things that uh, it's hard to find with the uh, online purchasing. So we'll do the Walmart order first. I have it kind of divided on the table. And then a lot of it is Aldi's. So let's go ahead and I'll tell you what we got at Walmart and Aldi's and give you the menu plan and go from there. All right, let's go. Okay, so here is the Walmart order just right here. It kind of ends right here where the drinks are. So this is Walmart and that is Walmart as well. So we'll start with this. We got the dog, the dog food. And then some cat litter. Hopefully this is the last cat litter I'll be getting. I've been YouTubing uh, litter boxes and stuff like that. And I found a way to do wood chips or wood pallets. So hopefully that works out and we'll just start doing those. And then I got a bag of chips for a few meals that we'll be doing. And then come over here. And then we got a bag of Kit Kat pumpkin pie. I was going to do this as a taste test video, but I'm pretty sure we've already did this video. If we did, I'll link it down below. But I think we did. Oh, well, we'll have it to snack on or maybe hand out. And then I got some uh, body wash, girl body wash, lavender, and jasmine. And then some boy body wash. And then I got some conditioner because we ran out of conditioner. I've got a bunch of shampoo, so I needed just conditioner only. And then some men deodorant, a two-pack. always try to find two-packs. It just saves time on buying more. And then I got the smaller bag of um, toilet paper. I think there's 12 rolls in there. I never know the math of toilet paper. That's confusing. And then... I got uh, two packages of smoked ham or smoked house cheddar for a meal. We're doing ham sandwiches, and that's going to be on those. It's it's like fancy or fancy ham sandwiches. I'll tell you about it later. And then uh, some light bulbs just to stock up. Our um, light bulbs are getting kind of low, so I got some more of those. I didn't have any small sandwich bags, so I grabbed this, which has a hundred. And then a uh, three pack of toothpaste. And then I got the mouthwash. And then some dish soap, because I always try to keep one be one stocked up. And then two gallons of water we uh, use these to give to the dogs and we use it at like in my coffee pot and stuff the water in our town is really really bad and it likes plugging up things so we try to get that and then for halloween section my kids are going to be old people for halloween my daughter uh, got a cane a while back and she wanted to be an old person, and then uh, my son, he's wanting to be an old man. So I couldn't find gray uh, spray. I found white, and I'm going to do the white, and then I'll do a little bit of this blue. So hopefully that makes it look older. And then I got this for their makeup to stay on. And then I don't know how I'm going to do the wrinkles. I'm going to have to play around with their face. But I got some of these colors, so hopefully I can make it look wrinkly or make them look old. 
And then I got these that put little gift things in our Halloween party that we'll be having next month, next week. And then I got two packages of hot dog uh, buns. We're going to have hot dogs. And then I got two packages of the Spanish fries for uh, bean and beef burritos I'll be making. And then a deal of bananas. They looked really good, so I just go, went ahead and grabbed them. And then I got these uh, beef roasts. I got two of them just so it lasts longer with maybe leftovers. So I got one for, what is that? Two pounds. And this one is a little bigger, uh, two, two and a half pounds maybe. So yeah, I grabbed those. And then I've got this uh, Cuban style mustard. I have aioli mustard and some other kind of mustard. And I figured this would be good on the sandwiches that we'll be having. The ham sandwiches and even the beef sand sandwiches. But I'm not. This sounded good. And then I got some diced uh, hash brown potatoes. I thought I grabbed the ones with the onions and bell peppers. But I guess I just grabbed the plain ones. But it'll, it'll work. Then I got uh, two packages of these. Homemade rolls. These will be with the ham sandwiches. We'll probably die, uh, slice them and eat them. And then that's it of the Walmart order. And then this is the Aldi order. It was quite a bit. I saw a lot of things that, you know, I picked up and wanted to try. For instance, these bagels. These are the pumpkin spice bagels. And it smells, the smell is really strong. So I know they're going to be yummy. And then these bagels are a harvest bagels. It has cranberries and seeds in them. You can see the seeds and the cranberries. And then I got uh, cream cheese to go with that. Pumpkin spice and just regular cream cheese. And just some mini bagels for the kids. They don't like the, they don't like the, mixed ones <laughs> and then i grabbed taco seasoning and then two packages of chili seasoning and then a big uh package of green bell peppers i i think i only need like one or two so i'll probably just dice one and freeze it and then i uh, got two cans of green chilies i always try to keep these on stock because i like to throw these in different things and then the beer mustard, I saw this and sounded really good. So I'm going to use this for pretzels. Dip pretzels in it. The kids never tried it. Maybe they'll like it. I like it. And then me and Keaton picked these out to try. They have like little, uh, it's like little seeds in there that you dump into it. Um... And that's infused with something. So we're going to try those out and see what those are about. They looked interesting. And then I got two cans of tomato paste. And then a big can of crushed tomatoes. A can of cream and mushroom soup. And a can of tomato soup. And then two cans of western style beans. I'm hoping these are like um, ranch style beans. Because this is what I'm needing that for. I'm going to put them in tacos. And, and something. I think it's a taco soup. And then the refry beans. That's for the burritos. And then two big family size of Cheerios. And then I believe I got all that. And then a can of black beans. And then we grabbed a deal of strawberry pop tarts because we didn't have any. And then I'm getting low on my garlic powder, so I grabbed me a deal of garlic powder, some salt, and pepper because it's all going low. And then I had no barbecue sauce, and that is a shame in Oklahoma not to have barbecue sauce. So I grabbed a deal of barbecue sauce. And then some Frito chips just plain and then Keaton grabbed these frosted flakes spooky marshmallows 
And then, sorry, my phone timed out on me. And then, uh, these looked really good, so we picked up some of those. And then I got, uh, green onions for a few dishes that, uh, for garnish and for the meal itself. So I grabbed some of those. And then, uh, I needed coleslaw and, um, all these didn't have any coleslaw. So I'm going to probably just keep these chips out of it and mix the rest of this and use that on our beef sandwiches. Um, hopefully it turns out, I mean, if anything, I'll just leave this out as well and just use my coleslaw dressing that I have. So I'm, I bet it's going to be about the same thing. And then I got some oatmeal, the pumpkin spice oatmeal. And then two boxes of baking soda, because I always use baking soda on different things. Then I had no oil in the house, so I had to get some olive oil and some vegetable oil. A bag of uh, onions. And then a bag of carrots, baby carrots. And then two dills, two packages of um, broccoli, because we have a meal as side as broccoli on one and the, another meal with broccoli on the other and then um two packages of these tortillas i'm hoping these turn out okay and don't tear on me and then i got some of these chili lime cashews they sounded really good i'm gonna make like an adult type uh lunchable type thing so i could take to work because it's it's hard to find time to eat, so I'm gonna gra I grab some of these and I grab some of that. This brown rice crackers, and I probably just put slices of uh, meat and cheese with it. And then a box of el uh, elbow macaroni, and then I found these uh, disinfectant wipes. I haven't found disinfectant wipes in a long time, so I picked these up so I could use these on my counters. And then, here's a whole nother section of Aldi's. And this will be it. <laughs> oh, I also have two deals of eggs I've already put in the refrigerator. And then I have these ham, honey smoked ham. These will be for the sandwiches. And then I got me this ham as well. I'm going to dice this up for a meal. I figured it'd be cheaper to just dice it myself other than get it pre-diced. A uh, package or a container of sour cream. Two packages of mild cheddar shredded. And then I found this. It sounded really good. A cafe latte. Kind of like a yogurt. It's yummier than a yogurt. I figured I'd try this out. See what that's about. And then I got two packages of these uh, Baby Bell cheese. My youngest, she loves these things, and they were cheaper at Aldi's. So I grabbed two of those for the price of one at any other grocery store. And then I got some Red Diamond tea. My husband's trying to stop drinking pop as much, so I, I grabbed this for him. And then a gallon of milk. And then one night we'll have pizza night, and I grabbed this chicken flatbread Southwest style barbecue sauce. It looked really good. It's frozen now because I had it in the freezer for a minute. And then I grabbed just two of these, uh, like an all meat pizza, and we'll have that on a night when I don't want to cook, cook. Okay, and this is our menu plan. This is not a menu plan. I need to take that off. That was for something a long time ago. Okay, so the brats. This is the brats, fried potatoes and broccoli. And that was has been on the menu for quite some time. So we'll probably eat this sooner than later because it needs to be made. And then we're doing these fancy ham sandwiches, mac salad and chips. It's just a sandwich with the cheese and probably the aioli sauce or the mustard. And then also I'm going to put a chow chow on it. We went to a restaurant a while back and they put chow chow on their ham sandwiches. And it was really yummy. So I picked up some of that and we're going to try it again. 
And then I, I'm gonna probably do the Frito chili pie first, make the chili, and then we'll have the hot dogs if we want chili dogs or just plain hot dogs. And then the taco soup with chili cheese Fritos. We'll have that one night. And then the Amish country casserole with bacon green beans. I will try to do the video on this one and post it. it I found it in my cookbook, so I don't think we've ever had it. So we'll try that and video it. And then we'll have the frozen pizzas. And then the hamburger potato casserole. I will do a video on that as well. The uh, Show you how that is with the carrots roasted. And then the barbecue beef sandwiches, coleslaw, potato salad, and chips. We'll have that maybe probably a couple times because I have a lot of meat and a lot of bread to go through. And then uh, beef and bean burritos. We'll have that. We've never had this, so I'm hoping that's a, a hit. And then, of course, ham and bacon, cheesy potatoes with broccoli. I will videotape that one as well and post on there. But this is our two weeks menu plan this time around. But yeah, so keep a lookout on those uh, recipes that I will be posting on here. And also, we are uh, starting Monday. We got lots of stuff that we need to try and post on here. I've had things building up in our uh, back room of uh, treats and drinks and just snack stuff that's uh, kind of unusual or unlimited and we've been slacking and have not gotten that posted up. So I told Rocky we need to get on it and get those posted. So. You guys can see what our reactions on things are. But we're going to get back on this whole video posting and uh, hope that you guys enjoy it. So if you like this video and want to watch more, subscribe to my channel and like and comment on things that you guys want to see. And we will try to make that happen. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Bye.